Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a, a quick outlook at what is uh, the future of Windows. Uh, from time to time I like to uh, look at you know what's the new features coming in the next version. Um, you know we've been on uh, the fall careers update for a while and now we've just had the April 2018 update released um, about a month and a half ago now. And of course, uh, one of the things that we are going to see is that in September, October of this year, we'll have another big update. And uh, what will be in there? What do we know exactly right now of the next version? Well, first of all, um, you know, we seem to see that there's a um, tweak of the darkness. So uh, like, for example, this is the File Explorer, dark themed File Explorer. Uh, it's still unfinished and a little ugly, but they're working on it. So File Explorer, this is one of the things a lot of people ask, a dark themed File Explorer that you can turn on or off. It's, like I said, a little ugly and really, really not ready yet. But we're so far off, I think this, this is one of the things that's going to probably make it uh, to the next version. Uh, the other thing that is going to make it for sure is the sets. Sets feature has been tweaked and it's being tweaked more and more. So this is uh, another uh, thing that people are going to want. What's sets? It's basically you'll have tabs, different tabs for different apps. So if you work on a project, for example, and you have, say you have your web browser open on a page with some information you need. Maybe you have Word open on, another, on, on a document that is related to that. Maybe you have your uh, email open with something that's related to your work. Well, all of that will appear in sets at the top. What's nice about sets is that also when you go to the timeline feature that's in here, timeline feature will open sets and will have sets, um, you know, open up all together. So if you have like eight tabs of eight different things that we're working on all related in the timeline feature, you can actually go back and open all eight which is really nice because you can't do that really with anything else. So this is kind of an interesting feature. Uh, one of the interesting aspects, you know, we we're talking about Windows 10 S and one of the things that is about Windows 10 S that we're still wondering was, yeah, but in Windows 10 S, where exactly, you know, uh, how exactly is it going to work? We still have no idea. Well, we're starting to have one because if we, um, if we um, type S mode in the search, look at this, switch to S mode. You have this little thing that shows up. Right now it does nothing, but I mean, this is gonna be a indication that we'll have the on off switch for S mode probably coming in the next version. So that's, um, uh, you know, moving from a regular Windows version to S mode, which is a more of a closed down, kind of an iOS-like operating system where you only can install apps from the store and no, nowhere else. Uh, so a little bit like the Apple world if you want. Um, so I guess for some, um, you know, for enterprise, for example, or some, there are there some reasons why maybe Windows 10 S could be interesting for some. Uh, but, um, you know, that's the kind of things that, uh, that we'll see if, if it's used. Uh, free, of course, Microsoft did say it will be free to to move on from one version to the other, so there's going to be no problem with that. Uh, so these are some of the little things. There are more tweaks of Microsoft Edge, so they're tweaking the menus, they're tweaking things that are actually working. Uh, that's that's one thing that we're going to see. Um, they're trying to make things a little better. So if you uh, go into um, you know the um, the Edge browser, you'll have the uh, basically the, um, you know, a better menu, kind of clearer menu, a little more spaced out, a little, a little better. Uh, you know, yesterday I ranted about the dark team that is kind of inconsistent and should be system-wide when you want it. Uh, you know, there's a little things like that that are kind of weird. Uh, we know there's, they're tweaking the, you know, they, they did tweak it a little bit, but they're tweaking a little more the, uh, basically the different options for the time and languages, um, you know, depending on your region and all of that, there were more tweaks of what you could do. So that, you know, that's the first things that we see here. Uh, cloud, one of the features we hope is going to make it, uh, cloud clipboard, uh, which is already 
kind of there. Um, you know, there's a lot of little things here that's kind of fun. Um, it's cool to see that this there's uh, also been a um, an upgrade to the famous uh, snipping tool, the snipping tool that uh, was um, used for a long time, which was this little snipping thing, is now uh, upgraded to a much better snipping tool, which was uh, which is which is kind of cool. So if you click here on the button, you'll have a screen snip, and you'll have a little menu show up. So this is much more. In this is much improved, honestly. And when you actually um, copy something to the clipboard, it will show up also in uh, your notifications area on the bottom right. So that's pretty much where we are at right now uh, with what's the future of Windows 10. Once again, you know, a lot of these features will probably be unused by most people, but it's interesting to see the future of where we're going with Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.